What, like beignet soundbites? Yes. Uh, and then somebody talk to me again or say beignetis or beignets to me again. Golly. Uh, okay, I'm ready. I don't know why people like to say things that I don't like and think that's the way of getting my attention for something. This is weird. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. What would be the sound bite that you want? Nothing. To nothing at all. <laughs> nothing. I want to disappear. That's it. Play, play football? Heck yeah. If I could play football, be successful, and not be known, whew, that would be a dream, honestly. But yeah, go ahead. Jamal, can you talk about uh, obviously like the announcement of Alvin Kamara's three games suspension, how that changes your perspective of the game, and then also just the running back depth in the room? It doesn't change nothing of what I was here to come and do. I just came to just be a good teammate, do my job, and just perform at my best. So that's pretty much it, I got to say, on that. So, Do you look at those first three games that this is going to be a time? You know, there might be more of a rotation, obviously, once Alvin's in there. But those first three games, you might be getting it a bunch. Do you look at it that way? No, I just, like I said, just go in, do my job, do every game, like every other game, and just perform at the best of my abilities. So. That's pretty much it. Talking about the, the sound bites after the Saints put out that clip of you saying to bring anime stuff, seems like everybody's bringing something to say. So what? it's too much anime stuff? No, 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 no. It's pretty funny, honestly. I, I enjoy it just because it gets my attention. That's it's what I like. And people think I'm really faking about me liking just anime stuff. So let me say this again. Whatever you think you know about NFL players or you think you know what we are, you don't know me because I'm – I'm not that. I'm literally just a nerd. I literally play football. I'm good at football, but yet I know what I like, and that's anime. That's my social life. That's my off the field thing. This is work for me. This is work. Like people think we just playing a sport and you know all that. It's work. It's a sport. I love it. I'm grateful to do it. Uh, and I knew what I was good at, and I knew I was good at playing football. But at the same time, I know what I like off the field, and that's I'm just a nerd. I literally walk around running around like a ninja. I literally watch anime every day. Like, that's me. So when people bring it out and fans bring me like just anime things and they point it out to me, I see that. And that to me shows a sign of respect and an acknowledgement of they see me as a person, not just as a football player, but as Jamal Williams. And if I feel like you just see me as a another number on the field or you just see me playing football and you yelling out my name, but you know, you just, you know, you just want the signature we really don't have a connection like that you know what i mean but when you actually bring something of my interest of anime and it may be for you you may bring it out just for me to sign that i'm down for that because you brought something that interests me you know what i mean so and people there's some people who don't even know nothing about anime but they still bring it because they understand me as a person you bring anime you're my first priority and then people be looking at me crazy for passing them up wow there's somebody who got uh, a fun pop of Sasuke or Naruto or you know a, uh, Luffy or Moragaku. Yeah, some of y'all don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> exactly, that's that's exactly what I'm talking about. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, then I ain't for you. That's all. But you know, once I get through all my anime fans, I get back and I try to sign as much as I can for anybody. I'm literally the last person that that be out there signing, honestly. But. I got to get to my the people who respect me as a person who don't just see me as a football player. They see me as the person, as a person, Jamal Williams, and as, you know, Jamal Williams, the football player. But once you respect me like a real person, not just what I do, then I have a different type of connection with you, and, and then you become my first priority. So that's it. What's the best thing you've gotten so far? Oh, man, I got this hat. I got a fanny pack. Uh, and the crazy part is I make people sign them. Like, I make them sign it just because it, it goes in my game room, honestly. It goes in my house. Those are my aesthetics in my house. Just people giving me stuff, and I just put it all around my house, on the floor, on the counters, in the in the windows. I put them everywhere just because to those to, – to me, that's a, a connection that forever be built with me, you know. We don't play football for long, but just making connections with fans of them bringing me stuff that I can hold on forever – and just hope it from uh, just for memories is something that I hold deep to my heart. So what initially piqued your interest in that genre? Again? What anime? Mm -hmm. Just growing up with it, Naruto, watching it from Cartoon Network, and that's pretty much it, really. Like even when I was little, I didn't really know what I was watching yet until I got older, and I was like, oh snap! So that was anime this whole time I was watching. So, but it's just growing up and just learning, you know what I mean? But I just loved it since I was a kid. I just loved the 
the lessons you can get from it from it may be dramatized or over overization of like adversities that they go through but i can still take what they go through in anime and reflect it into my own life because we all go through ad adversity we all go through things but they always have they give me a, a lesson of just always having a a half full mentality you know what i mean even when things are going bad you can still think positive to make the outcome be better you always can make your results better and you'll, you can always control your mindset. You don't have to be negative when negative things happen. You can stay positive, you can keep yourself motivated because the more you stay motivated, things will change. So just have a strong will in your mind and to believe in yourself and that's all you need in life. How many times have you been to Japan? Once. I'm an inside man. I'd rather stay in my house than anything. So a vacation to me is uh, <laughs> just never leaving my house if I can, shoot. <laughs> I'm watching out. Hmm? I'm watching anime. Yep, anime, video games, you know, that's pretty much me right there. Jamal, how much did that half full mentality play into that last game of the season last year? It was such an emotional moment for the Lions and the win against the Packers. Did that half full mentality play a big role in that? Nah, well, one, I, I didn't know what was happening. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I told nobody, tell me, don't tell me nothing about the game. I didn't watch the game, so my motivation was never going to be faltered by what was happening in another game, you know what I mean? So I just want to make sure I just had my mindset right for my teammates and let them know that I'm going in with the mindset that we going to the playoffs if we win this game. So, and then other, and then I had just adversity, family, uh, family deaths in my in my family that was just recent, and just coming up to that game was just a lot that I just felt like I had a great game. Um, I did a lot, and I just felt like I just represented them well, and so. After we won and all that, just they was just the, the first people to come to my mind at the time. So I have no shame of just showing my emotions of when things are going through because everybody got them. So that's all. Was there anything about the way that maybe the New Orleans Saints organization presented itself to you over the courtship of this offseason that maybe felt like there's that glass half full opportunity there? Oh, they just wanted me. That's it. We ain't had no problems of what we wanted to come into contact with, what our deal was. We got it done, and then they brought me in, and they tell me what I, what they want me to do. Cool. Let's get to it. So I have no problem with it. They came with me with so much respect. Like, they wanted me. They wanted me to be there, want me to be here. And it's just it's just been blessings being here. I just love that the energy, just the motivation from everybody, just the constant the constant challenge that everybody does for each other. And we're just iron sharpens iron. We're competitive, yet at the same time, we can all, we all friends afterwards. But once we get on the field again, we're competitive again. And that's what I love about it. We can switch it on and off. Like there's no beef off of the field from when we on the field. You know what I mean? And that's what I love about this team is just everybody's a competitor. Everybody wants to be the best in their position and just be the best uh, them. So it's just, we're just challenging each other, but at the same time, we know we're just getting ready to be a great team. Have you gotten a good sense yet? I know there's not a lot of pattern practices, but what it might be like this season to run a design run behind wherever Trevor Penning is on the blocking? Uh, I gotta say, I do love the line. They just, and lines and linemen in general, just they have so much personality that I wish I, I wish I did have, but it takes a minute for me to bring mines out. But they just great people. Um, I just love how our line is moving the ball. Our line get off the get off the ball, and they really make holes for us. So I just know the more and more we get comfortable with each other, they'll see, you know, how I run, how how I want to get through. But they make it so easy to get in, you know, running the ball that I feel like I won't have to make drastic decisions. And I just be out there just making plays. So I'm just grateful to be here with them. It's for a little more. Jamal, what's your relationship been like with uh, Kendra Miller? Is he a guy who asks a lot of questions? Do you have certain certain advice you'd like to pass on to rookies? Yeah, I just honestly, I just try to just tell him, uh, just keep playing like, just keep playing like it's your last play. Don't come in lackadaisical. Don't come in like it's college and you the man. Because here, you know, you're a rookie, so you're gonna get tested. And if you're not, you know, if you're not ready to get tested every day by players then it's gonna be a little hard for you like practice is gonna be a little long for you uh, you're gonna dread certain times but those those are the times in your head where you gotta have a mental mental uh, battle with you to know that you can do it keep stressing keep keep running after the play is done be the last person and make defenses like give up on the ball you know so just just tell him just keep the effort going he's doing great he's doing awesome 
it's just him just understanding you just got to keep that effort 100% of the time. Every time you get a ball, 100% effort. You know what I mean? Finish 100% effort. That's all we just trying to tell him. But he's doing great. He's learning it. He's picking it up. Uh, I'm proud of him. Have him as a teammate. Like he's no uh, egos, nothing like that. He takes uh, everything that me and AK tells him. So I'm just grateful to be here with him, try to help him on his way, on his football career. And he's doing a great job, though. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Y'all have a blessed day.